Here we are at Cinema 4D once again, my good people. So, one of you guys requested on how you can bake an alambic animation. Without wasting time, let's do it. The first way of doing it, you can come to whatever object or toner in this instance, right click. You come to bake as a limit. That will calculate as you can see down there, bottom left. Okay, so here we are, as you can see, it has done to bake the entire animation. As you can see, all those clones are they all, all of them. Let's say that you don't want the clones. How do you do that? Let's say you don't want the clones. What you have to do, you have to put this in a connector. Connector, bring that down there. Put that in your connector. Okay, let's just put one frame. Okay, do the, the same thing. Right click, bake a little bit. It's gonna calculate it's done in this instance. You can see that it has made only one object of your entire animation. Okay, the last way of doing it. You come to file. Export as Alembic. When you click that, it will take you to the place where you want to save your file. Then again, if you want more functionality before you bake it, click that gear. Then you select how many frames, what the scale should be, and all of that. So I hope that when you try to find whatever issues you had with baking your animation as Olympic. If you are curious in terms of how this was made, there's a link in the description where I demonstrate how you can make this kind of animation. Isaac's artist is the name. Check some links in the description down below. Isaac's the artist is always more. Thank you.